Hi, my name's Eric, and I'm the DIY Dad, and today we're gonna make some giant bubbles. Whoa, giant? Super giant. Awesome. So awesome. Not a crafty bone in this body. This week we are going to take things outside because first of all, it's beautiful, and second of all, we love bubbles. Are they little bubbles or giant bubbles? Giant bubbles? What the? So what do you need to make giant bubbles? You need two things. First, you're going to need a giant bubble wand, and second, you're gonna need some giant bubble bubble juice. Can you say that? Bubble bubble juice. Bubble bubble juice. Bubble. Giant bubble bubble juice. So first, here is how you make your giant bubble wand. To make your bubble wands, you're going to need two sticks or dowels, two eye hooks, six feet of yarn or string, and a round, smooth washer. First, you're gonna take your eye hooks and screw them into the end of the sticks. Then you're gonna send your string or yarn through the eye hooks and through the washer. Use an overhand knot to tie the ends of the strings together. When your wand is complete, the string should make a triangle shape. Once you have your wands made, it's time to make your bubble bubble juice. Bubble 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 juice? Giant bubble bubble juice. Giant bubble bubble juice. To make your bubble juice, you're going to need a container to hold everything in, about six cups of water, one and a quarter cup of liquid dish soap, and one tablespoon of corn syrup. First, pour your six cups of water into the container and slowly stir in your tablespoon of corn syrup. Once that's mixed, slowly pour in the liquid dish soap. All right, kiddos, should we go outside and do this? Yes. Let's do it. To make your bubbles, take your wand and lower the washer and all of the string until it's fully submerged into the bubble juice. Keeping the sticks close together, raise up out of the bubble juice and slowly separate the sticks apart to open up the strings. Oh, it started one. Did you see that? Go backwards. Go backwards. Go faster. 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 <laughs> what did you guys think? Did we nail it or did we fail it? We nailed it. We totally nailed that. That was incredible. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of skeptical when I first started it, but by the end of it, we had some huge bubbles. We would love for you guys to try this DIY out at home for yourselves and leave us a comment and let us know how it turns out. Maybe even tweet us a picture of your giant bubbles because those things were looking pretty sweet. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. As always, subscribe to Baby League. We'll see you next week for another episode of DIY Dad. Bubble! Bubble! <laughs> Hey guys, it is time for us to announce the winner of last week's DIY Dad episode giveaway. As you know, the winner is going to receive three months free of Foodsters. Thank you guys so much for leaving all of your comments. They were hilarious. We had a blast reading through them and we were reading them to Beanie Berry and the one that they liked the best came from Amanda Lynn 1996. Amanda told us a silly story about how they used way too much ground cloves in an oatmeal cookie recipe and we thought it was pretty hilarious. So we will also leave the name of the winner in the description below and Baby League will be contacting you for your prize. Thanks again guys. Bye bye.